This here is one of the cars we've been running in the company for a while. It's a seven and a half year old Tesla Model S85 that we call Batmobile. And we're gonna treat it to a little Christmas present in that it's gonna have an MCU2 upgrade. Uh, what does that mean and what difference does it make? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you. Okay, so I'm with Serge in the car. And Serge drives this car on a daily basis. So uh, we've got a good measure of what it's like. Um, what are the symptoms, Serge? Yeah, so it's, uh, well, after seven years, it's. It's doing well, but uh, it's kind of laggy. Yep. Um, it takes a while to, to put a, a, a trip in. Um, sometimes it takes a lot to wake up. Yep. Uh, same with the app. When you try to connect to the app, it will uh, take minutes sometimes. Just or take a long time to wake up. Connect. Yeah. So we've had no, um, no, you know, it's not gone off entirely, but it does crash quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. And you get the blank screen and we have to do scroll wheel reset. So. Now, Tesla did extend the warranty for the EMMC um, until the cars are uh, have 100,000 miles, and it is under that. So if this were to crash entirely and not work, as we have seen with a few cars, then that would actually be covered under warranty, but because it hasn't actually failed entirely, it's not covered. Yeah. So, however, we're going to do the MCU2 upgrade anyway, which kind of then will fix all those issues um, and then improve it with some new features. So we're going to get some new features in this car, which I guess we can run through in more detail when we've got it. Yeah. But it will include the Netflix, YouTube, although we're going to lose the radio. That's right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, um, so it's not going to have a radio tuner. That's separate. You have um, to pay extra for yeah. that. Okay, but what I want to focus on here, and we're a little bit pushed time, this car has to go in in a minute, doesn't yeah. it? So let's do a few things on the screen here and just give an example of the speed of the system. And then hopefully we can just repeat the same kind of things tomorrow and see what the differences and improvements are. Right, cool. so should we put something in the navigation to start with yeah. then, the first thing you normally do when you get in the car? Yeah, so so it woke up promptly this morning, didn't it? Like yeah, just now. Yeah, it worked out fine this, this time. Um, just sometimes uh, it takes a while just to wake up, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we but, can't really measure that because that's sporadic anyway, but let's yeah. put something in the navigation, Serge. I put like a, a long trip. Oh, even that took long. Uh, so I say Edinburgh. Uh, there we go. So just Edinburgh Centre UK. So this is going to figure this out and we're going to keep it the same. So this is running 3G at the moment. We'll get 4G as part of this upgrade. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we're not connected to the Wi-Fi. So let's leave it just on the uh, connectivity it has. It's actually so pretty quick. <laughs> it's working it out. And it's actually done that quite fast. Yeah. yeah. That's not too bad. That's yeah. not too bad. So that's planned the route with charging stops on this car based on what it has at the moment. So that was quite quick. So let's cancel that. Let's try something a little bit more challenging. Let's go to Berlin. Let's see what it does. I was thinking about this. And so this MCU2 upgrade will include this screen being completely replaced, but also this screen, the driver's yes. binnacle. Yeah, so uh, on a pre-autopilot car, they'll have to change the cluster as well. Right. Um, it, it's one... At the moment, there's two computers. Yeah. When they change both screens, it will be one computer and yeah. two screens. Because we still have the pre-autopilot screen with a kind of center speed and uh, power band and I actually quite like the way that works I like yeah. it on this okay so there we go it worked out the route that wasn't too bad and there we have a trip to Berlin with a few charging stops so that wasn't too bad what else can we do to demonstrate the usage on this so this will be part of how quickly it can load the data and actually it's it's okay is it I mean this is seven years and a half years old what's yeah. the mileage on this car now it's uh, 93,000 miles, close to 94 now. As you can see, it's still actually perfectly functional, yeah. isn't it? It's absolutely fine. What I found after a long trip, it usually crashes or just freezes and then you have to reset the, the computer. You do a scroll wheel reset, yeah. 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 And it still works, well, you can still drive it, you just have to do the reset uh, and it takes about seven minutes to come back to life. Okay, so something you can do on a Tesla is hold down both scroll wheels and do a reset. And you can do that whilst it's driving. Um, ideally not, but you can do it whilst you're driving and that will just reboot the screen and that fixes a lot of little things. And that can be done even on the newer cars sometimes. But this particularly after a long drive then, yeah. uh, I mean, how long, like an hour, two hours? Yeah, about an hour. If yeah. It, yeah, and then this could often, often crash. Yeah. Right? But this here is at the moment, it's pretty responsive, isn't it? So if we switch now to just map view, so it's still perfectly fine and functional. So normally yeah. you get in the car, you put your navigation in and you just drive and it's actually okay. It works okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so if we go into here and we look at like entertainment, for example, this is where we should see a difference. 
Oh, it's not responsive there, is it? Uh, I think it just crashed. It actually caught the crash. Oh, here we oh. go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so you can see there that lag that it has. So we can go to entertainment, bring up the games. We should see a new one here called Theatre. Theatre, yeah. And that should give us the uh, YouTube, Netflix. Not, I don't think it's particularly useful myself, but you know, okay, yeah. we've got that. <laughs> um, what about radio functions? Is that okay? So yeah. So moving the screen around here, that's all pretty responsive. Um, and you can flick between. So you might lose. Your, you're going to lose radio stations, aren't you? Yeah, but you can still, you still use tune in. tune in internet yeah. radio. And this car has free uh, premium connectivity anyway because of the age of it. Yeah. But if you want the radio, you have to buy that as an extra module. Yeah, which is 500 pounds extra. 500. Yeah. Hmm, okay. But we're not going to worry about that because you've got tune in, you've yeah. got Spotify, and you can stream from your phone and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Okay. okay. And you, all, you know, basically all the radio stations are going to be available from those services, aren't they? You've got to tune in. We've got tune yeah. in on here. Um, how responsive is this typically? Uh, it works. I've tried it. That seems like you have BBC Radio 1, which yeah. is, yeah. So it's not really too much of an issue, yeah. uh, I guess, in theory at least. So we'll see what's like. Let's say you choose not to have the radio module. Can you add that later on? You can, yeah. Yeah, so you can still yeah. go, ah, actually, I missed it. I want it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can. With this binnacle change, this is uh, going to improve the resolution on this as well, isn't it? It will, yes. Um, so you yeah. can see here, obviously, you probably can see the pixels around the, the avatar, yeah. um, which will not be visible on the on the new screen as well. Okay, right. So there we go. It's perfectly good, like it's functional, but it just has that occasional crash in and occasional lag, which isn't ideal. This is a seven and a half year old car. Mm. It's done well, hasn't it? I mean, this car's yeah. been pretty darn faultless. We run this older car to kind of experiment with things that need doing on it, and it hasn't really <laughs> needed anything, has it? So, um, uh, other than some tyres. How, how long did you get out of the back tyres, by the way? 17,000 miles. Okay, well, so yeah. this is the rear wheel drive example, so well, it's going for yeah. rear wheels. Okay, so it's right, let's leave you to it. You're going to get this off to Tesla, and then we'll check back in when uh, we get back, so this could be tomorrow now. Yeah, and I think in about 24 hours, they said, just to make sure that uh, if they need to download some software or yep. things like that, yeah. Okay, so let's do this tomorrow, and we'll yeah. see what the difference is. I hope it's good. I hope it's worth yeah, I hope it. So too. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of owners have given really good feedback about, you know, it is worth it, it's good. And essentially it takes what's still a really good Tesla, even though it's a few years old, it's still a great car, isn't it? And so the fact you can actually reasonably cost efficiently can bring this completely up to date does seem like a good option to have. Um, but they get away with not repairing our EMMC. Yeah, there they do. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, let's check in on this later on. Okay, so there we are, all done, done in a day, nice and easy, wouldn't it, Serge? And as soon yeah. as you get in it, it's way quicker and it all looks sharper. Yeah, colours are a lot more vivid now. Uh, yeah. Same with the cluster. You can see the resolution is higher. So both these were changed, um, brilliant. Okay, what was, what was the cost in the end, Serge? £1,400. So £1,400, MT2, installed, vivid colours, looks different, looks fresher. Let's do a couple of tests then. So first of all, we navigated to Edinburgh, it's still there. Let's do that, Edinburgh. And it did it pretty quick before, but that was straight up. Yeah. So a couple of seconds with the traffic route in and the charge stops and everything like that. Then we did uh, Berlin, Berlin, didn't we? Yeah, so, so it should be here somewhere. Is that still here somewhere? We've been other places yeah. since. Let's go to Berlin. A little bit more challenging. So that's pretty much instant. Yeah, and it's still calculating, but it's like, uh, yep. you can see how quick it works. Straight through. So that was easy. So last time, I mean, it worked actually quicker than usual last time, wasn't it? But yeah. um, it's definitely, definitely faster. Then in here, we've lost the radio. So we've no longer got uh, radio, nope. but we've got the tune in and Spotify uh, in here. So this is all pretty responsive now. Yeah, very Even responsive. Even daily, an excellent EV podcast. <laughs> um, I hope everyone is watching and listening to this. Um, right. I say watching because it's also on YouTube as well. Yeah. Uh, very good. Uh, so... In tune in here, we've got radio and we've got radio stations, but everything in here is quick and responsive. Can't play music, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but everything is just instantly it responsive, is. isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, all moving um, around nicely. Yeah, uh, even though we don't have the radio module, you can still listen to the normal radio stations that uh, you know are there. Um, they probably all, in. They're probably all on tune in, aren't yeah. they? And this is nice and quick. Good. So we're yeah, not on Wi-Fi. This is just using but it's 4G now. So yes. this is all much faster. Look at that. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And then go to that. 
And then you got some new toys, have we said? What have we got? We do. Uh, so, obviously, the normal games and everything, but I guess this is the. So now you've got the theatre tab. Yeah. And now we've got, for example, YouTube. There you go. There we go. Um, I think there's a quite a good YouTube channel on here, isn't there? What, is, what have we got? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is brilliant. These oh. guys are everywhere. Yeah, these guys are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Uh, but yeah, that loads out pretty quick. That's all good. So we've got that, and you've got Netflix you can sign into as well. There you go, that's pretty quick. Yep, so that's all loading, and that will stream quite easily now. I'll have to skip that. Hey guys, how are you? Good. <laughs> so that all works nicely. That's excellent. Uh, Netflix, Twitch, and the tutorial videos as well. All the games there. Few games there. Yeah, there's a few other things that have been added because of the M32. So one of them is um, the uh, preconditioning of the car from the app. Okay. It can actually, yeah, you could do it before if you go in the app, but now you can set a time, a, a scheduled time for yes. preconditioning. And yeah, it, it, okay. it works. Um, and I noticed it. straight away actually when they said it was ready that it can connect to the app much quicker. Um, so here I go, connection and. There we go, it's Done. come straight through. Done. Whereas that could take a few seconds before to connect yeah. to it. Yeah. So, this is what we've got here the scheduling for the precondition. Yeah, that's when yeah. I start driving. So. Yeah. And that just wasn't there. So, you can turn no. on the climate, but the actual scheduling of the climate wasn't there before. Yeah. Excellent. And, and it's one... actually due a software update by the look of it. Yeah, it's a game update. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it's good, isn't it, actually? I mean, everything is just quick and responsive on here now. Yeah. It's a nice upgrade. So, our seven and a half year old Batmobile yeah, feels like new. Yeah, it feels uh, <laughs> like new and functions like a new one. So, yeah, yeah I must admit, I'm quite impressed. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, there we are, guys. Um, I hope that's useful. Quick video just to show you literally the differences between the two. So, it's a little bit of money, but it brings this older Tesla right up to date. It still drives great, this car, doesn't it? it Even does, with yeah. 90 something thousand miles, um, we still use it day in, day out. It's still a great car. And now, latest functionality, new screens, crisper, sharper. It looks all new again. Yeah, it's brilliant. brilliant. I think it's worth it, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm more impressed than I thought I'd be. So, yeah. you know me. <laughs> <laughs> I like to moan about stuff. But this is, uh, this is all pretty good, actually, I'll admit yeah. that. So, uh, there we go. Hope that's useful for everybody. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. The next day. So, one of the coolest features uh, that the MCU2 upgrade brings is the... Uh, possibility to watch YouTube and YouTube live actually so I'm here in the uh, uh, Tesla close to my surgery I just had my booster jab and I have to wait 15 minutes in the car before I start driving so what else uh, better to do than watch extremely live in a Tesla <laughs>